The new scroller box came and I can't wait to see what's inside. So let's open it up. I see some Copics. Okay, let's open up the rest first. So, ooh, glittery sticker. Okay, so needed eraser. That one looks fancy. So I've already heard that this box was created in cooperation with Drawing with Waffles, which I love. So I totally get that there is needed eraser involved in this. <laughs> if you know her, you know what I mean. So, okay. Quite interesting texture. Not too hard, not too soft. Okay, yeah, I, I really love this needed eraser. A Durban paint pen. I really have no idea what this is or makes. Okay, that is supposed to be a white pen. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to find out how good he is. He, it. So next, let's come to the Copic. Marker. I'm not sure if this video will come first, so I'll explain it again. I'm not the biggest fan of Copics. I just had a really bad experience with them until now. Maybe I just had some bad ones. But let's find out if these ones are better. A multi liner. Oh, I really need to find out which color this one is, if it's violet, which would make totally sense in a drawing with waffle box. Totally. Okay, this one looks quite interesting. I have no idea what this makes, but I can't wait to find out. Candy. I have never tried this one out, but I will definitely. And a um, pencil. A mechanical pencil would be better if it's a drawing with waffles box, but not complaining. What's that? Oh, look at that. How cute. It's their 50th box and it's the drawing with waffles box. That's so cool. Okay, that's so cute. I guess this is marker paper. Oh, and that's the artwork. So, in case you don't know drawing with waffles, here you can find her, but on which planet are you living if you don't know drawing with waffles? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's okay, but she's she's really cool, check her out. So, let's make art with this. So, I thought I'd try something new and I will talk now real time with you. Uh, tell me in the comments if you liked it or if I rather should do the normal thing. I already created the first painting because I, I nearly never create art with markers so I just wanted to try some things out and learn a little bit about them. The first thing I realized is that I'm not as happy with the blending as I thought I would. Uh, as you can see the nose. Yeah, I made a small blue blob and wanted to blend it but it almost nothing blended, it just got a little bit lighter and I had a 
giant blob of dark um, violet down there. So, or, or lavender. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, it was not as easy to blend them together, so I didn't do that for the rest of the painting. Another thing that I realized was that I haven't uh, put the character in the exact in the middle, and I, I'm not 100% happy with how I use the space on the paper. But it was just uh, my idea was to create a shy person because I, I'm new to the markers, so I'm quite shy with them. So that was the idea, and he's like. <laughs> But yeah, that was the first artwork I created. So let's just start with the second artwork that I wanted to do. Ah yeah, something I realized. I think I've got my signature now. I just had a cool idea with this one, so maybe I will change my signature a bit. I'm realizing that it's quite difficult to create art and uh, talk to you. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this all the time but it's something I'm looking forward to doing so I will give it a shot now even though I'm really uncomfortable. The thing with Aurora is that she has uh, some strands of hair that are longer than the rest of her hair which is quite interesting in my opinion. I'm just trying to get the overall shape on the paper she does some <laughs> quite sweet things with her hands, so I'm trying to recreate that a little bit. Fingers are always a bit hard to me because it's easy to make them look really stupid in my opinion. It's hard to get them the exact way that you want them to get. So that looks like a giant mess now, but maybe I will go over this then with a darker layer. So something uh, I've always loved, like there are a few artists out there that inspired me to create my own YouTube art account, YouTube art channel. Uh, Rin definitely was one of them. She was just uh, really inspiring. She was also the person who brought me to Scholarbox. So that's the basic shape of the fingers, somewhat the way I wanted them to be. They are hanging a bit more down than in her photo, so I think maybe I will put the head down a little bit. The kneaded eraser is really interesting and strange at the same time because it's um, yeah, how do I explain that? It's hard and soft at the same time. I don't know if you get this, but it's it, it's really a strange texture. She has quite high bangs and they look like she... The bangs look actually like she had cut them herself. I don't know if that's true or if someone really professional cuts it the, that it looks that way. That's probably what has happened here. So now I need to get the shape of her face correctly. The face is always the most important part of the picture. I think Rin said this too, but it's just um, that Rin is way better in creating a face the way she wants it to look like. I'm not there yet. So I'm just working really softly trying to get the right shape. Something that I love about Scrollerbox is that you can try out new art supplies and fall in love with them. And it's always a bit of a challenge. It's a thing I admire about Rin a lot, so drawing with waffles because she almost never gives up when she's creating an artwork. And in 99% in of the time the art turns out great. So let's leave the nose for a bit and see if maybe later on I will 
try to repair something. There's a slight possibility that at the end this won't really look like her because I'm not really working a lot on getting detailed recreations of humans. So I don't have a lot of training in it. But I think that's something you need to learn or accept with art or in general. There's a German saying, it's called There is noch kein Meister vom Himmel gefallen. In general it means that perfect people don't just appear. I really like the things Aurora wears. I don't know if there's a way to describe it because it's just it's just colorful and her style. And um, dress to the nines. I've never heard of this saying before, but I um, googled it and the page said nine is a really troubling color. Or I don't know if that's something like that is what it said. Yeah, I thought her style would be from a like old lady. It would look at it and be like, oh, that's really troubling. So I thought her she fits perfect to this month's theme. And now comes the part I'm most scared of. Because that's the part where I always ruin my results. <laughs> I'm almost holding my breath now. <laughs> So thrilling, she creates a nose. Okay. I feel like after every stroke, I'm like in my head, there's kind of a sports moderator who is like, oh, we don't know if this was maybe a mistake. Let's see, let's see. Oh, that should have been more left or more right. And yeah. The thing is, normally I use line art in kind of a sketchy way because it happens to be something that I think makes the artwork vulnerable and strong at the same time. It gives it a kind of a gentle feeling in my opinion. And her eyebrows are only slightly visible, which is why I think I will leave it like that. It's also something that is really thrilling for me. If you will get the other eye the exact way you want it to, does it look similar? Maybe I'm overworking the hair a little bit, but I'm just going from my vibe. I know that Waffles is going in an exact opposite direction with leaving as much as she can out. And that's probably not the worst idea, but oh well. So I think this one is alright. Just move on to the mouth. I think I created her upper lip too big in the beginning, so I will try to reduce it and I try to not create everything, I'll line everything because I think this will just overdo it, like I did with that stroke <laughs> at the nose. Oh, don't forget the ear I I'm actually... I really like creating ears, I don't know why, but they seem to always turn out somewhat the way I like them to. Let's move on to the blouse, I'd say. Some wrinkles. It's time for the hands. Sometimes the hands don't look too bad when I am creating them with the pencil. Then I turn to to line art and completely ruin everything because it's just a, a huge difference between um, creating some scratches that all kind of let your eye decide which way it wants to see 
the artwork or if you show one line that exactly shows how you should see this artwork. Maybe that will not turn out to be the best hand I've ever created. Okay, a little bit shaky, but oh well, the second hand, holding my breath right here. <laughs> think I've got that one right, it's when you are creating anatomy of someone. It really helps to actually know something about the anatomy uh, because this way you when you are drawing and you're like oh we'll turn this this way your brain can say um, that's not anatomically correct and you can fix mistakes that would look really stupid in the end even though you thought it would look correctly so now we can Finished two strands down here. So moving on to her glasses. Okay, they are kind of having a shine down here. So the blouse needs to go kind of like this way. And on the other side it appears out here. It just disappears behind her left arm. The last few lines. So we are moving on to the markers now and I think I will actually start with the background um, and I will just create somewhat leaves behind her and work a little bit more with white than it actually has in the artwork just to give it a naturey texture and make her look darker and give her more contrast than the background. I'm not exactly sure what leaves I'm drawing, but it's just, it should just look like a really loose, really soft shape. And down there it's actually getting darker, so maybe I will just create more of them down here. Until we end up at a point where actually everything is dark. Hopefully I won't regret that. What I learned from my first drawing is that I don't like the fact that her skin was so dark. So I will leave her skin white like the t-shirt and just add some accents. I hope that drawing with Lathos also makes a video to this. The coolest thing ever would be if she watches some videos from us who are creating an artwork to her, to her, her art supplies at least, somewhat her art supplies. It did, I think this would be really cool. I'm adding shadow where I see shadow in the picture. I feel a little bit more relaxed now that I'm finished with the line work and it's somewhat okay for me because now I can focus on kind of softer lines which are more present in the human nature anyway. I'm so thrilled of if you like me creating art and telling you my instant thoughts about it. I've never done this before.
create some shadows down her neck. Now moving on to the lips. I will try to blend them again, but I don't have high hopes. Yeah, maybe I've ruined them a little bit, but maybe we can fix that with some of the white. So I'm trying to get the t-shirt that is under the blouse. I think it, I will make the t-shirt down there just really dark in general. Then I will make some uh, effects with the white and the shimmery color. Shiny shimmery. What I don't really like it th is that it's hard to see the um, line work if you paint it over it with the darker color. This way it's hard to, <laughs> to see my hard work. <laughs> it's hard to um, realize that there's a blast down there, but I will try to fix that later. I think I will color them just similar to what they look like. So they are just colorful basic shapes down there. on with the lavender maybe someone out here works a lot with markers and is like what is she doing here and maybe they are so easy to blend and i'm just not realizing it but yeah i don't really work a lot with markers since they are so expensive and watercolor is just way easier to get and easier for me to manipulate <laughs> it would be so uh, interesting to see uh, drawing with waffles react to that and being like, oh, this would have been, oh, that was the wrong color. Oh, this would have been so easy this way or something like that. Oh no, I just ruined the blouse. <laughs> okay, I think I will need to make the outside of it dark because there's no other way I can fix my mistake of taking the wrong marker. Unfortunately, they are not blending. Maybe I can put something on the nib of the other one. And blend them this way. Nope. Try it for a longer time. Oh, it works a little bit. use my really special technique that shows how bad I am at finding the other tip. Making it way darker down there. Because that's the only part where you can only see the t-shirt and I think we need some somewhat contrast down here. Um. <laughs> See, that's why I'm a messy painter. I'm not good at aiming, anyways. So I think I will move on to creating some pattern. I will create some other strokes there to give it a little bit more texture. And I will create a little bit of shine on the blouse to separate them a little bit more. So I hope this made it easier to realize that there is a blouse. 
So, and now on to the shine. I think I will add something to her eyes. So, some shiny glasses. It's a blouse, so it needs some shine. In my opinion, at least. Maybe I will smooth it out too. And that's another reason why I'm a messy painter, because I always use my fingers for stuff like that. So maybe show that the lines are connected so that the blouse is just going over top of the other t-shirt. I think we are moving on to the last shimmery accents there was no shine on top so i thought let's add a little bit to them and i forgot the ear and now moving on to the part i'm liking the most my new signature yeah this is this month's crawler challenge i hope you had fun creating it with me I will have a lot to cut and I'm really, really nervous about how this one to, will turn out and if it will make sense for you. I hope you like my uh, idea for this month and I hope we will see each other in my next video. Bye!